YouTube, it's me again. Um, today, I want to talk about anxiety attacks and give some possible advice, not possible, but give some advice and tips of how to handle anxiety attacks, uh, tips and coping methods that I used to deal with anxiety attacks. Um, took a while to learn these coping methods. Uh, it took a while to understand anxiety, and what it does to your body. Um, but once I did, once I did learn what's going on with your body, what anxiety attack really is, uh, I was better better to understand it, and it was it was easier for me to cope with it when I did have an anxiety attack. So real quick, um, when you're going through an anxiety attack, what anxiety is, is, is pretty much your, def your defense mechanism, your body's defense mechanism reacting for something that should be a severe situation. So it's adrenaline. Now, think about when you experience something severe. I don't know if you know if you've been into a car accident, um, if you've been into a fight, uh, if you've gotten into a fight. That kind of anxious feeling. Your heart starts racing. Um, you kind of really don't know what's going on. Um, imagine if you run into a you know 800 pound grizzly bear in the wild your defense mechanism is going to pick up. You're going to turn, it's going to turn into a fight or flight situation for you. And your body's going to think fight or flight. So what anxiety is, is adrenaline. It's your body going into a fight or flight uh, state because it thinks you're in danger. Your body thinks you're in danger. So what triggered my anxiety is something that I had to face quite often, which was uh, uh, separation anxiety. Um, driving, you know, two and a half hours, two hours to and from work, being away from my family for, you know, what, eight, nine, 12 hours a day in another city um, is what triggered my anxiety. So you can imagine my struggle with it was pretty extreme because I was in the car by myself, nobody to talk to for at least two hours. That's if I didn't get stuck in traffic. So that's a lot of time to be by yourself. And it's a hard thing to go through when someone has a separation anxiety. <clears throat> so I wanted to give some advice and some tips because for myself when anxiety hit for me early on I didn't really have too much advice too much tips I didn't know what was going on with me I didn't know where to look for help uh, I didn't know really anything all I knew is there's this overwhelming feeling that comes on you know in certain situations I don't even know what was triggering it um, but it, all I knew was it was scary. It was scary. It was overwhelming. And most of the time I didn't know what I, I didn't know what was going on for the longest time. Uh, even when they did tell me, yeah, you have, you know, severe anxiety. Okay. That's great. What is that? How do I deal with that? Well, here, take a medication. Okay. That's great. Well, I'm still having it. Well, here, take a different medication. So anyways, Anyone who's going through anxiety probably knows the process of the different medications, the different, you know, you're seeing a doctor that's, you know, pretty much going to be their, uh, their, uh, remedy is here to take a prescription. That one doesn't work. Oh, well, I'll take this prescription. That one doesn't work. Oh, well, I'll take this prescription. They don't really get to the root of it, of what's going on, why it's happening, uh, or anything like that. You know, the technical, uh, terms of what's actually going on to your body when you're having anxiety. So 
when I realized that all anxiety, my anxiety attacks were, were uh, an overreaction to a fear, I was able to better manage it and I was able to better handle it. Now it was still hard, don't get me wrong, it was still hard, but instead of my anxiety attacks lasting for 45 minutes to an hour, they were lasting maybe 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then five minutes, and then two minutes, and then one minute, and then now I rarely have any. So the first thing I want to uh, point out is if you can find the root of your anxiety, like mine was a, a separation anxiety. I know there's, you know, people have social anxiety, they have, you know, um, a different, there's different, different types of anxieties, you know, so, or different things that trigger anxiety, anxieties. For me, I didn't know what was triggering it. Um, it took me a while to, to figure it out. So the first thing I would recommend is to find what's triggering your anxiety. Once you do that, you can better prepare for it and you can better handle it when it does happen. Now, knowing that my anxiety was triggered by separation, I kind of would be able to predict when my anxiety was going to hit. Um, once I did that, I, I was a little bit more prepared for it. It wasn't completely blindsiding me. It wasn't completely catching me off of guard. I was a little bit more prepared for it, um, which helps tremendously. It's not just coming out of the blue and attacking you and you're now wondering why, what's going on, why is my chest, you know, feel tight, why am I sweating uh, a lot, you know, why is my stomach hurting, uh, why am I freaking out? So, the first thing I would say is identify what's triggering your anxiety. It's going to help you better prepare for it. Now, the next thing is probably the hardest thing to do, and that is when that anxiety hits, accept it. Know that it's just a, your body's reaction to a situation. That's all it is. It's just your body's natural response to being in fear. Now, it's it's like a it's it's more of like a malfunction your body's malfunctioning overreacting to a uh, lesser fear like I shouldn't be sweating I shouldn't be panicking I shouldn't be you know burning stomach uh, fidgety legs um, worrying if I'm gonna die or not because I'm away from my family that is an overreaction to a fear now if I'm feeling like that when there's an 800 pound grizzly in front of me, that is a natural reaction to a fear. That is perfectly natural. And that's all that's happening is your body is misinterpreting the fear. Um, it's really nothing to worry about. And I know this is the hardest thing, this was the hardest thing for me to grasp. And once I learned it, it took me about two and a half weeks to finally accept it let it come and let it go because the best thing about anxiety and anxiety and panic attacks is they will end they will run out your body only has so much adrenaline to pump before it's going to run out so you probably notice that after you have an anxiety attack or after you have a panic attack um, you're really exhausted you feel really tired that's because you just burnt up all your adrenaline and now you're tired. So the good thing about anxiety is it ends. Um, it will end. Your episode will end. Um, now, how long it lasts is going to be on you. Um, and I say that because once you learn to accept it and say, all right, this is my body's natural reaction to a state of fear... Um, there's nothing wrong, I'm okay, I'm safe, um, 
I'm with family or I'm with friends or I'm at work, uh, you know, I'm in the car driving, um, whatever the case may be. Once you can talk your body down, once you can talk your mind down, and that's, it's a good thing to do is whether in your head or, you know, out loud, whatever you feel comfortable with, talk your body down. Hey, you know what? I'm okay. I'm fine. Um, you know what? These are my friends right here. My wife's here. My kid's here. Um, I'm at my home. Whatever the case may be, whatever your situation may be, talk your body down. Talk your mind down off of pretty much the ledge of fear. Um, accept it. You know what? It's okay. Let's let, you know. Let's ride this. Let's ride this. Uh, let's ride this anxiety attack out. Um, it's gonna. It's gonna be over soon. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Make it your friend. Make it your friend because all that's really happening is your body's trying to protect you. That's all it's that's all it is is your body's trying to protect you. So when that happens, accept it. You know what? Okay, let's do it. You know, let's go through this real quick. Um, boom, 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 done, over with, you know, move on. Um, when I finally started to get a grasp of this technique, my anxiety was lasting 30 seconds. My anxiety attacks were lasting a minute. And I mean, the severe anxiety attack was coming on to where my body felt hot. I felt suffocated, suffocated in my body. Um, I sweat, uh, my stomach would hurt, like just full blown anxiety. Um, and I, I finally was like, all right, let's do this. Let's go through this. Um, this adrenaline's gonna run out. Uh, it's gonna run out now. It's gonna run out later, but it's all dependent on me. So once I mastered that technique, or or not even so much mastered, but once I got a better idea of that technique, uh, my anxiety attacks would last 30 seconds to a minute. And I know it's hard to believe, and and it sounds silly and it sounds stupid, but if you can talk yourself into realizing that the anxiety is just a body's natural reaction, you're going to be okay. Um, it's when you start feeding that anxiety, feeding that fear, is when your body's going to stay in that fight or flight uh, state. So once your mind starts racing and starts thinking, oh my gosh, I'm dying, um, why does this keep happening to me, your body, you're feeding that fear. You're feeding that anxiety and it's gonna keep lasting and your adrenaline is gonna keep pumping because your body is in a fight or flight state. So the last thing you wanna do is give your mind a billion questions to worry about. That's the last thing you wanna do. And I know you it's hard to it's hard to avoid it because the first thing you wanna think of is am I having a heart attack? I can't breathe, I can't swallow. Um, why am I sweating so much? Why is my stomach hurting? Why does this keep happening? What's going on with me? The, you know, whenever there's a problem, the first question you want to ask is why. It's a, it's again a body. Your, it's another natural response to a problem. So what you want to avoid is you want to avoid feeding that fear. You want to avoid making yourself worry. Uh, and as hard as it sounds, that's. Uh, that's a really big step into overcoming a panic or an anxiety attack is do not feed that fear because your body's going to stay stuck in that fight or flight uh, state. And the longer your body stays into that fight or flight state, the longer it's going to keep pumping that adrenaline thinking you're in a state of, of fear. Uh, when it, you, you may be in a state of fear, but it's not as exaggerated as the anxiety is making it. So, if you can, um, get up and go walk. Go do something. Get your mind off of your situation. Uh, the worst thing to do, and I caught myself doing this quite a bit, is just sit there and dwell on it. Um, for me, it was hard to, like get out and do something because I'm in a vehicle for you know four and a half hours a day so it's hard for me to get away from the situation so I really had to learn and I really had to learn it quick how to get my mind into believing that I'm okay um, you know
you know, when worst case scenario would hit, I would pull over, grab something to drink, use the restroom. Um, most of the time that would force uh, interaction with other people and that would get my mind off of my anxiety, my panics, my fears. Um, now, some people may have other situations that make it easier for them to get out and go do something. Some may not. Uh, for me, I had to learn it really quick and I had to learn it really fast that my body is okay. My body is fine. Um, so that's a that's the number one thing for dealing with anxiety and panic is to know that it's a body's natural response. There's nothing unnatural about what's going on to you except your situation. Your situation doesn't, doesn't uh, justify the amount of uh, adrenaline that you're getting at the moment. So once you could do this, you're gonna be okay. You're gonna be fine. And it's gonna be a lot better. It's gonna be a lot easier to handle now that you know what's going on. Now that you know what's going on with your body, what's going on in your mind, um, and how to counter it. Once you learn how to counter it, and it's not gonna be easy at first either, it'll be, it'll get easier as it goes, but just don't give up on the process. Um, like I said, it took me about two and a half, three weeks to finally be able to get my anxiety attacks down to about 30 seconds to a minute. And I mean full blown. I mean, my body would get hot, um, I would feel like I am, it, it, it's weird, I don't know, maybe you guys can relate with this feeling, but you feel claustrophobic inside your own body, um, and you feel like suffocating, you know, I'm sweating, I don't know, it's, I start thinking about my family back at home, what if something happens, blah, 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 this and that, da, 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 so, once I was able to rid myself of all of those thoughts and I learned to stop feeding my fears, my anxiety attacks went away. Uh, a, uh, a motto that I always stuck with when I had anxiety and panic attacks is whatever you resist, persist, persist. So when you're resisting anxiety, when you're trying to fight it, when you're trying to make it go away, it's gonna persist. Now, when you accept it, and when you realize that, you know, your body's only trying to look out for your best interest, it's gonna reside a lot sooner. So, um, one thing that I learned to keep me occupied on my downtime was uh, I started listening to audiobooks. Um, it was someone talking. It gave me that sense of not being alone. And like I said, I've, I've spoke about this in my uh, previous uh, videos. I don't remember which one, but um, learning your coping methods is, is gonna be the best thing for you. Learning what makes you calm, learning what calms you down is gonna be the best thing. And try things. Um, I, man, I wasn't, I, I, I didn't object to anything. I was like, man, let's let's do it. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a go. Um, let's try it. it. You know, if it if it possibly could calm me down, let me have it. Let me do it. I was getting to the point where I was just willing to try anything, and that was good because I learned what calmed me down. So learn your coping methods. Um, know that when you have an anxiety attack, when you have a panic attack, know that it's a body's natural response. It's nothing uncommon. Um, it's actually really common. It's quite common. Um, and I just hope that the, these videos get to people who need the, this help. I know when I was first going through this and I've spoken about this on my other videos, I know uh, getting the help and getting the uh, required attention, the required uh, path to overcoming this is hard to get. Um, the mental health uh, career is uh, really shoddy. Um, having been in the system and trying to get the, the help and, and uh, it, it was hard. It was difficult. Um, I found that I've gotten more help from other individuals going through anxiety or who have overcome anxiety, have experienced it. I've gotten more help from them than 
the mental health field. That's just my experience. Um, you know, I'm not speaking bad on the mental health field. That's just my experience. Um, again, short disclaimer, um, I'm not a doctor. Um, this are all based, all this uh, advice and whatnot is based solely on my um, personal experiences, on my coping methods, on my trial and errors. Um, and if I could teach somebody the shortcuts based off of my trial and errors, that's what the intention of this video is. Um, so of course, you know, don't, don't live and die by my words, by my videos. Um, I, I don't want to give anyone the wrong direction and, you know, it fire back on me like, oh, well, you know, <laughs> I watched his YouTube video and he was telling me to do this and I did this and it didn't work and blah, 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 and this is that. Um, what may work for me may not work for other people. I just know that I wish I had the help that I'm trying to offer other people when I was going through my episodes. So I hope it does help. Um, I set up a anxiety Facebook page. Uh, I'll start posting the link on the YouTube videos. Um, please subscribe. Uh, comment on the videos, um, ask questions, you know, let's get some discussion topics going. Um, my, my, my whole main objective for this is let's get over this. Let's get over this anxiety. It can be beaten. It can be defeated. Let's do it. Um, so that's my spiel. That's my video for today. Um, hope you guys are all having a good one. Contact me, please, if you need, you know, advice, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, post them in the video. Uh, if not, I'm going to get the link up to those, to that Facebook page. You can mess me, message me on the Facebook page. Um, let's get over this. Let's defeat this. All right. You guys have a good one.